I'm tired of seeing people out in the streets with their do-rag just tied extra crazy. What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all see that new Kozak video? Y'all see that new Kozak? Oh! Right, get up off the floor! What you on the floor for? What you on the floor hissing at me for? Of course, a durag is meant to mainly protect your hair, but it's also kind of like a style piece nowadays. So you can't be out here having your durag looking straight up crazy. So I'm gonna teach you how to properly go ahead and tie your durag. Hey YouTube, I'm Kozak and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to tie your durag the right way. Really quickly before we get started, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I make videos on hair care, skin care, fitness, fashion, health, you name it, I make it. So if any of that interests you at all, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications and welcome. We're happy to have you. All right, let me go ahead and take this off. Mm. Go ahead and unwrap. Y'all ready for these waves? She. I don't got waves, I got braids. All right, so boom, you're gonna go ahead and grab your durag. You're gonna sit it directly on top of your head. Now, you wanna make sure it's centered as best you can. I like my durag to sit directly above my eyebrows. So wherever you like your durag to sit, you're gonna sit it there. Please make sure not to bring the string right down to your ear. You want it to sit just above your ear. That's gonna give you the best amount of comfort you could possibly get instead of it cutting straight into the top of your ear there. Now, you wanna make sure that your strings are flat. So what we're gonna do is just gonna hold both of your strings right now. You're gonna make sure it's flat. You're gonna make sure that your strings and your um, the line there is centered. Now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that slack. So you're gonna go ahead and tug on the back there, the cape, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna tug on the back of the durag where the cape is um, and you're gonna make sure you kinda get a better fit. We're gonna do this a couple times throughout this entire process just to make sure you get the perfect fit on top of your head. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring one of those strings around to the other side. And again, the whole time while you're sitting this on um, the across the front of the direct, you're gonna make sure that it's flat. And you're also gonna make sure that that string sits directly above wherever your direct line is. So mine's is directly above my eyebrows. I'm making sure that that string comes across my forehead directly above my eyebrows. You can see me adjusting the direct once again. I'm gonna do it a good couple of times, but um, yeah, you're gonna bring that string all the way around. And then once you get here, what I like to do is I like to just sit it in my mouth for a little bit of a better hold on it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you know what you just said? Pause. Um, but we're gonna grab that other string and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You can kind of see it interlocking here, but that's okay. While you're putting your drag on, you can always make adjustments. You can always fix it. So I'm gonna just bring that across right now. Same thing, you wanna make sure that that's sitting exactly on the bottom of wherever your durag is sitting and make sure it's not cutting directly into the top of your ears because that's extremely uncomfortable. You can see me adjusting it here and making the little adjustments that I need to fix the, um, the little wing there, but I'm making sure that this is completely flat. The whole time you wanna make sure it's completely flat. You can see me using my thumb there to make sure it's flat. You see that little air pocket or that little wrinkle? We can fix that. Everything is adjustable while you're putting it on. So you're just gonna fix that. Very minor adjustments to make it to make it look uh, good there. Same thing, make sure that's completely flat. And then we're, we're, we're rocking, we're good. So now you wanna make sure that the cape, part of the durag is completely flat across the back of your head. I can't stress that enough. You wanna make sure that's completely flat. You don't want it to be all wrinkled up or curled up, uh, folded over itself, nothing. So make sure that's flat the whole time. Now you're also gonna make sure that the top of the durag is centered. There's no air pockets, we're good. So now we're ready to go ahead and make a knot. Now I know a lot of you guys be going straight up crazy when it comes to this knot. Y'all be losing the blood circulation in your head. 
tying it like you would tie your shoes relax i promise you don't even got to tie this tight at all if you did it right then the little wings there should already be enough compression that you need just a very easy knot that's almost easy to just take out there it's gonna be enough trust you don't gotta tie it like you're gonna tie your shoes make sure the cape is flat the whole time you see how this is kind of like coming down there you make sure that's flat you don't want it folding over itself or nothing like that that's gonna give you provide you a max comfort you want this to be as comfortable as possible since you're gonna be wearing this while you're sleeping or out in a or out while you're out and about so that's basically it um, as far as the durag goes now I'm gonna show you guys the way that I tie this little cape um, you can tie however you want to tie it or do whatever you want to do with the cape but I feel like if you just leave it out it's kind of crazy I feel like that's so old and stuck in the past but what I like to do is I like to put a little knot in the back of the cape I feel like a, that's the best way you could wear a durag or the best look if you're gonna be wearing it out um, so what you got to do here is you're just going to grab as close as you can to the very back of your neck. You're going to go ahead and put your four fingers there and you're going to wrap that around your four fingers. You're going to make a little knot. So um, you wrap that around and you're going to stick the end back through the little knot that you made, the little, the little wrap that you made. Now there's going to be just a little bit of like leave out. And what you're going to do with that leave out is first you're going to go ahead and tighten that knot. You wanted to get it as close to the back of your head as you possibly can. But with this little leave out, you're going to wrap it back around either through the top or through the bottom. Um, wherever you can get it, um, you're going to wrap it back around and back through that loop once again to leave you with a nice little clean knot instead of having like that crazy cape that just hangs out. I don't know who wearing their durag like that still, but if you are chill out bro you gotta chill i promise you gotta chill but um yeah so yeah you're gonna make your little knot and boom you're good to go so you have your little knot uh don't mind why the back of my head look like that i got a little uh knot in my uh, braids a little little bun in the back of my braids but yeah boom you're good you're good to go my durag's looking good we ain't got no air bubbles we ain't got no pockets we ain't got no wrinkles it's looking clean beautiful and that is how you tie a do-rag the right way. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave this video a like. If you're new to my channel, again, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I make videos on skincare, hair care, fitness, fashion, health. If any of that interests you at all, go ahead and subscribe and turn post notifications on. If you enjoyed this one, I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy the next one. So go ahead and subscribe. I post every single week. Turn post notifications on so that you don't miss out on when I post. And if you are interested in getting your hair braided, you can watch either one of my best braided hairstyles to get videos here. And lastly, if you're interested in growing your hair as quick as possible, as long as possible, in the shortest amount of time possible, go ahead and watch my video on the screen here. It's going to be at the very end of this video, so it's going to be at the end screen. Stay tuned to the very end and go ahead and click on that video. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. But with that being said, that is all my time that I have for you guys today. I'm Kozak, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.